His songs talk about finding supreme peace within the heart of unrest. But finding peace within the whirlpool of unrest was a state that Tagore did not achieve in a day. He had to pay the price through every agonizing moment of his life, which tested him with the cruelest of experiences. With an uncanny regularity, he had to endure the passing away of his dear ones. His first encounter with death was at the age of 14, when his mother, Sharuda Devi, passed away. I don't remember my mother. Only when I sit at the corner of the bedroom and look out of the window to the far away blue skies, it seems my mother is watching me, holding me in her lap. She used to look at me. That look she left all over the sky. Later, the figure of the mother appeared to be an epitome of peace that is subsumed in death. Ten years after losing his mother, he lost his closest friend and muse, Kadumburi, his sister-in-law, whom he fondly called Nutun Bhutan. Kadumburi had filled the motherless Ruby's life with love, care and affection. Her death almost shattered the poet who, in a letter to his secretary and poet Amir Chakraborty, later recounted. From my childhood, I was solely dependent on one of my dearest relatives who committed suicide. Therefore, her sudden death almost removed the earth under my feet and blew out the sun in the sky. My world became empty. I lost the taste of life. Nonetheless, from the shock of this unbearable pain, my life emerged into the realms of freedom. I slowly learned that life, which is not seen through death, is not seen in its true dimension. Mm -hmm.